Alright boys, welcome back to what I think is episode 7 of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, this last episode what I did, I went to the Forbidden Forest and I did a, the, the whole like, God, I can't remember what it was. The dude with no head, whatever his name was. The little kid. I don't know if he was a kid. He was definitely not an adult. I did his whole quest out in the Forbidden Forest. I found the pages for the book. And then I got myself a broom. What the fuck is that? Pardon? Revelio. I see this. Expelliarmus. Where'd he go? Where, oh, it's going over this side. Okay, we're gonna go get this. No, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. For sure it was this way. Oh, I lost it, didn't I? Yeah, I think I lost it. 100% did. Where did it go? Rebellion. Oh, there's that. Let's grab this. Um, I have four of the tokens, I believe. Doesn't it just respawn back down here? Should just respawn. Okay, well, there's that. So it doesn't just respawn, huh? Oh, it's down here. It definitely went up. Smack this fool. Brilliant. Nailed it. Nailed it. Got a Slytherin token. Let's go. This should be number five, if I remember correctly. We now have five Slytherin tokens, and we are on to Shadow of the Undercroft. Meet Sebastian for the defense against Dark Arts, or meet with Professor Weasley. Uh, Conjuring Spell, Evanesco, Conjuring Spellcraft. Confringo. What a name. Um, yeah, let's go do these. Let's go do this. We'll start with Sebastian. His his shouldn't be too long. And then we'll go meet uh, Professor Weasley. And then from there, we'll do all these side quests. We're still waiting on Fig to, te or, uh, to text me back. There it is. Still waiting on Fig to like let me know, hey, uh, I have something for you. Come meet me in my classroom. But so far, have you yet to hear anything. Oh, yoink. Where's he going? He's going up. Damn it. I see I've it still. So. Keep running. Keep running. Let's go. Mega six. Fly cross now? Oh, yeah. Got it. Let's go. That's house token number six. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. He's down here. Really wish it would just let me jump over railings and shit. But no, it is, it is what it is. Let's wait for him. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. We're going to the Undercroft. I, I'm following you, brother. Keep walking. There's a secret passage just here. Maybe I should get the, uh, where's the, where's it at? Uh, this one. Let's throw, oh wait, I can do this, can I? I can, let's go. I'm gonna put all our blues on one. Uh, no, we'll just leave this fairly the same. And then as we get more spells, we can just throw them on here. Sick. Disguised. Beautiful. Yeah, 
Okay, because sure, professors haven't seen this before. How did you find this place? My yeah, friend, yeah, Ominous Gaunt. Simply don't buy it. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Revelio, and she loved Chess. that infernal game. Yoink. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Yeah, I got you, brother. He never confides in anyone. He's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize her. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I bet. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Dude, Ominous got take nerfed a while to get on the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. Mm. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Brother got nerfed on birth, bro. Nice, we got Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Where's it at? Am I dumb? Oh, maybe it's not here. Yeah, sure. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like you said. Oh, it's right here, I see. So we can actually put this one. Uh, we want, we kind of want that in combat. Let's do this. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. It's fucking great. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? 
He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Sick. When dude. I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Nice. Confringo! Got Confringo? Awesome. I feel like that was like the perfect time to tell him about what's going on. Especially since we're in the Undercroft. Extremely seek Oh god, what is sitting here? Hello, Sebastian. Oh fuck. Wait. You there! I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. God, who's shitting your Fruit Loops? What the fuck? God damn, he just went at like zero to a hundred. What did I do? I got told to meet this man in the room and he's taking it like I just shot his mom in front of him. What the fuck? What a maniac. All right, let's go meet with Weasley. I guess that's why God nerfed him off spawn, dude. Saw that dude is gonna have anger issues. I'm like, fuck it, we'll take his eyesight too. I don't give a fuck. And just yoinked his eyes from him, dude. What a weirdo. The Galleons and a historian's uniform. Shut it up. Someone's practicing with a broken wand again. Shut up, Arthur. Alright, we're gonna go meet Weasley. Supposed to be all the way up here though for some reason. Which is fine. Gotta wait though. Sucks. Oh no. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes.
Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Bro, I swear, I'm gonna get tired of them saying Merlin's beard over and over. It's gonna piss me off at some point. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Bro, not Deke, Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. That one was a fun one to learn. Splendid. Uh, where's it at? It's right here, right? I think. Uh, we gotta put it right on there, and then we gotta figure out how to switch from one to, one to the other. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Just like that, I guess. Excellent work, Lumos. You'll note that you are Lumos. now in possession of Moonstone. Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. If only I didn't have already have like 40 moonstone. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? He's just vibing, bro. Oh. Is that Let me know, sir. goodness? Uh oh. My old school bag. Uh, I wondered too more where that had got to. Let me know if you want to meet again. It's really cute. Oh, Can't cool. believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Good. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Man, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, Keisha. Akio. Bro, a random ass cup of tea? You just drink tea straight out the straight out the closet? What a maniac. Okay. Alright, I guess. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop the <laughs> oh, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Get busted, my friend. Get busted. Repair him. Oh, I can't repair him either. Oops. Bro, well, flush on the toilet. Bit of fan of the room thought I needed a bath. Jeez. Get destroyed. Let's just turn everything on, why don't we? Another Iron Maiden, which for some reason is in every classroom. <laughs> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Uh, by crouching, the way you are. Duh. <laughs> what was that? <gasps> Where are you? Was that a golden snitch? Golden snitch! Come here, bitch. Perhaps you should summon your Akio. Find out. <laughs> Come here, you snitch. Where 
he go? Expelliarmus. Good friend. Where did it go? Accio. Hmm. How do I get over there? It's a question. Oh, maybe I have to go around. Somebody just cooked something in the microwave. Yeah, maybe I have to go around. It's more flying. I ducks. hope that house elf can find us in here. Oh, bro, we're lost. Lumos. It's not letting me sprint anymore. He's gonna be in here. Yep, there he is. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it, then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well, then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just Big booty Latinas. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. This doesn't look like a big booty Latina. This room is fucking massive. Jesus. Tan cloak, distinguished school cloak. Cringe. I saved those for nothing. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Oh, I have to talk to her. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Damn, they got us learning all kinds of spells. Conjuring spell, let's go. Very good. 
When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Alright, sick. Uh, we need a conjure potion table? What do we do? We need to add... Where's the conjure? Am I dumb? Oh, it's this one. So we gotta, we gotta put all our greens on one, we gotta put all our blues on the other. We gotta have all our reds and our purples. Or maybe not. It's just curses that I gotta learn too. Okay. Um, we need potions. Scientific potion station? I don't know what the fuck to build. Maybe this somewhere? Oh, it's so small. Bro, what? Oh, it's also locked. I see it. Um. What? Oh, okay, I guess I can only use this one. Uh, let's start right there. Oh, what we can do is we can back. And then we're gonna need to uh, build one of these. Not inside the playable space, my ass. Put it over here. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Nice. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Fuck it, we learn. If it'll let me. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much is enough? I guess I have it. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh, dude, can we disrespect our surroundings? No shot. Rugs. Uh, I got all these rugs, huh? I think it's large. Ooh, I think it's massive. I don't know where I put it though. Do I see Deke I... thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brew. Shut the f Uh so I have I do have to put one somewhere. Just turn it 90. Yeah, like that. We're still out there for now. 
back. Uh, oh god, there's. I need a lot more. Uh oh. Decorations. I don't know if that'll count. Put a mirror up. Let's put it up over the bed. Oh, there's no bed. Never mind. Let's put it like right there. Beautiful. Uh, let's do six rules placards. Put those uh, put over here. Put it like right there. Get back out of here. Let's do this one. Let's do this one over, like, over here. And then, do we? Should we just place one of each mirror? We need two more. I've already put a winged one, right? Yeah, I put a winged one there. Let's do that one right there. And let's do this one. About right there. Beautiful. Now we need floors. Floor stuff. Oh wait, there's artwork. Yoink. Can I do something about this? I'm trying to see how do you how do you remove stuff? Yeah, my question is how do you move stuff? Nurse and baby, house elves and mistress, gazing witch, pickering couple. Yeah, we need that. We need that like right now. Not the bickering Dick couple. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Put that up there. Deke I gotta figure out how do I uh here before. Can I just do this? Oh fuck. Oh I guess that, that works. I gotta place it like actually up. Nice, look at that. Let's do some floor. Uh, there's rugs we could do. We could do furniture. Oh, we can't do furniture. Never mind. I lied. We already have a desk with description. We don't need more. Don't need any of that. Decorations. Is this gonna count? What we could do for this is we just put a big rug in the middle of the floor or something. Oh, you have a Niffler statue? What is that? The fuck is that? They cannot I don't even know what that is. You have here. I got tables. Ooh, decorated scientific table, botanical table, like eclectic table, gothic table. Ooh, fun. Uh, seating, don't need any of that. Let's just, oh, we'll throw down some jack o' lanterns. Yeah, we'll throw them down right there. Let's go. Shall we move on? Yeah, we can. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Boom, didn't even stand a chance. Just Aim your wand at any and perform the altering spell to customize it. Oh wait. 
Deke hasn't seen this Shut the here before. Fuck up, Deke. You goof. None of that's available. Oh, I need like I need those floors like now. We're Slytherin, so I guess we should go green, eh? Or maybe we go black. Yeah, we do that. Style of an item. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Jesus. Oh, I guess I go that way. Lord. Yeah, we'll do that. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. There's more? You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. I guess the walls. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Balcony. They cannot believe how many beasts you have. Oh, we're going with Gothic, 100%. Oh, let's see the walls. Can I do anything to the walls? Yet? I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I could just apply it to all. What I wanted. Oh, I didn't do the balcony. <laughs> I didn't do the balcony at all. I just did the walls. See that? I want to see the floors itself. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Who said I'll ever be ready, my guy? Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Deke thinks you can be proud of all there the potions you've I want to put this, like, actually in the middle. Like that. I suck at Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. 
Bro, not my brother Deke over here just sweeping the floor. <laughs> this fucking guy. Alright, well, we got the room of whatever the fuck. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Shut up, Deke. Yo, mama. Alright, sick. So we got a whole room to ourselves now. Go knock out some of these side quests. Room of requirement. Oh, I can talk to Fig now. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, let me do these. Running house tokens, I already... I'm not gonna do those now. Uh, so we do the lost afterlife. We can do that. Which for here, we actually gotta go to our world map. And then I believe it's like down here. If I remember correctly. Cause like it's right on the Hogsmeade. Off the dock in lower Hogsfield. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Yeah, it's like right over here. Cause there's the, there's a student right there. So like I have to dive? I don't know how to dive. This is the problem. Hello, darling. I see there's enemies. Are you on? Oh. Uh oh. Okay, whatever. We gotta dive. I don't know how to dive, but we'll find out. Alright, dude, get in the water. Stop walking like a bitch. Let's get in the water and let's swim. Beautiful. This must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. Anything from here? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Am I just stuck in the water? Oh no. Oh no, don't tell me I'm stuck in the water. stuck on the water. Oh well. Uh, reload. Plus that's for life. Yeah. Off on another adventure, are we? Shut up. Shut up, Ignatia. Ugh. Yeah, we got stuck. Which is cool. Try to run around <sighs> to avoid that like little half swim we did. Is there any way to get like super far into the water? In there? Bro, leech juice, my boy. <sighs> oh, there is. Beautiful. I really, I was really hoping. It would let this me, like, must dive be down. where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. Asylum mask? No shot. Yeah, it appears I literally just got stuck. I pressed F again, or I held F again, and it just set me straight down to the bottom of the lake. It didn't really give me an option to come back up. Mistakes were made, but it's okay. What the f- what kind of dive? I just pencil in. I go like leg first into the water. 
found it. Awesome. Uh, where's the dock? It's over there. I should let Grace know yeah. that I found her family astrolabe. Oh, it looks beautiful. This game looks beautiful. Hey, Grace, I found you astrolabe. Now, respectfully, uh, you owe me. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Oh, no, it was the worst. I almost died. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. I'll see you in Slytherin. Look at the mermaid mask. Get the fuck. Boy, what the hell? Uh, we can do the Dalian key. Oh no, we can't do that. Wait, this one's when Guardian Leviosa. Huh. Um, I think we do this one. I don't know. Map portrays a forest bridge and candles. I put it in my bag for reference. Forest bridge and candles. So we go hit the map. We gotta go find the Forbidden Forest. Like a little bridge over by the Forbidden Forest. Problem is, there's a lot of them. I go here. I guess I can pull up the map and at least check it. But like every single one of those bridges looks the same. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Shut the. F Lumos. So we're looking for like a bridge like this with candles on it, right? Unless maybe I'm just missing something and I need to go down here. Oh. I was mistaken. It appears I've been mistaken. Oop. Wow. Leech juice. I'll take it. So we gotta find like a we gotta find a bridge next to one of those. Like if I if I look here, in my inventory. Map with floating candles. View. So there's a bridge, candles. There's that. We need to use uh, Lu Lumo, Lumos. On the candles itself. We'll see. Town in the pet in the there's the town off in the distance. There's that. I don't see candles unless I'm just stupid. Lumos. Unless it's not the right one, which I would. I don't know how it's not the right one. If it literally has all four landmarks that I'm looking for. You know, Forbidden Forest, Gateway, Bridge, Town. You know? A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Confringo! Expelling armors! Confringo! Unidentified back right now, okay? Not bad. I just don't know where else to look. Like, honestly. It's the only bridge in this area that's got all four landmarks. Unless I'm like missing something, because it's got that. It's got that. It's the bridge. There's the forest. There's the, the town. I 
just missing where the candles are? Like, am I literally missing the candles? Confirm them. I didn't know. Expelliarmus. Oh, well, oops. Lumos. I've got to just be missing it, dude. I honestly have to. There's no way that it's not here. It has to be here. Unless there's like a whole other bridge somewhere. Right near the same area. I mean, there's this one. There's that one. There's that one. Let's go. I guess let's go here. that oh bird the fuck lumos I don't know if I candle some grown ass men over there so this bridge ain't gonna be this won't do This one definitely isn't it. What about uh, probably that one over there, maybe? Hopefully. So I don't have to run around and look for more bridges. Let's hope this one's it. So grab the leech juice. Problem is this one doesn't have the other landmarks. So what literally our only bet is either being this one or the one all the way up there. That I've already been to. Let's go right after that one, I guess. Or we can check the map and try to find another bridge. Check this one, check that one, check that one, check that one. Are there any other bridges? Not that I can see. So it quite literally has to be this one. Because it's close enough to the forest that's hog or it's hogs mead. It literally ha or maybe it's Is it this one or that one? I have no idea. It has to be one of those two over there, though. It has to be. It's the only two it can be. So the one, there's one back there. I pressed map. But okay. Oh, I'm not even, like, close to it. Yeah, I'm like not even close to it. It, it is those fucking bridges. It literally has to be these bridges. Floating candles. If I do uh, Revelio. We do Revelio first. Doesn't look like it. Lumos. Bro, I'm so lost. I'm so lost with this one. I really don't want to look up a guide for it, but. Revelio. I'm just beyond lost. <laughs> Whatever. We'll skip this one for now. I hate doing it because I've really wanted to do this one for a bit, but whatever. Uh, garlic, venomous tentacula. Acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies. 
Maximum Endurance Potion, use them simultaneously. Acquire and use a Focus Potion. Ah, we'll do that one. We'll do this one. Which we have to go to the map again to see. It's in Hogsmeade. Let's just teleport in. I'm not trying to run. Although I did get a broom. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. It's almost like that's the point. Yeah, it's almost like that's the point of Hogsmeade. What in the fuck are you doing? Brothers over here doing a jig. Be respectful when we walk into this place. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Rebellious. Oh, it's J. Pippin. Or Perry Pippin. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. All right, well, let's go deliver this potion. So, oh, God. What to say, is she in town or what? But no, she's absolutely not. Let's get outside the city limits here and then we can fly. Oh yeah, we're flying now, boys. We're getting places. Might not be places I want to go. Places, indeed. We're getting there. I still really want to figure out that bridge, though. Are those fucking dragons following me? Those things are massive. It's been a long flight. Drink you some mics hard. We do a little booze brooming. You know? Uh, that was clearly a joke. Please do not drink and drag at all. If you are, I will not be happy. So please don't. Be smart. It's been quite the fly, eh? And they really weren't lying on this. Ah, does it actually make a difference? I don't think it makes much of a difference. They were like, oh, you fly faster when you're close to the ground. Oh, that's my fucking broom. Bro, we can't be doing that. Madam Luang? I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? 
Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro then for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Why the fuck would I drink it? Then you'll only have two. I'd rather not, but if you insist, so be it. She's I don't only going to pay me for two. I'm calling it. She's literally only going to pay me for two. I actually don't know how to drink a potion. Is this good? Uh... Where, where do I get that? The inventory? I was just here, wasn't I? Maybe quest item? No? Weird. I don't know how to drink potions. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, my cursor's gone. How do I drink a potion? Oh no, this is the hardest boss of the game so far. here oh hey, okay he gave me four did you see that shit bitch it seems to have worked hmm well i suppose that will do if the demand for potions is as high as you say have you considered being easier to work with Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Oh, get roasted! Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. I should be going now. Thank you. You know, I don't think I'm gonna do be doing any business with her. All right, I'm just gonna fast travel back. I'm not trying to fly this entire way. I'm really not trying to fly this entire way. It's so far. I'll just fast travel. Take the four or five seconds in the loading screen and then just run in. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Did he say cozy with an S? My brother. Sorry. Akio. Let's go return to this guy. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? No, I'm trying to tell you I deliver. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay. But I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Let's fucking go. Capitalism for the win, baby. I just swindled this man for more money than I deserve. That's business, baby. And that'll do it for episode seven, boys. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.